Hey guys, Hades here. This will be U.S. Culture C, the third part in my U.S. Culture PowerPoint. Then we'll be done with this. We can move on to other culture stuff if you guys are interested. All right, last time we did talk about culture shock, but we didn't talk about these other things. What does ethnocentric mean? What is xenophobia? And what is a stereotype? Ethnocentrism is the judging of one's own culture as normal and all other cultures are compared to this and generally considered to be lesser or not as good as one's own culture. Right, so it's basically people taking their culture and saying that's normal and everyone else is <laughs> not normal, right? This is almost a natural thing until you can raise yourself above it, right? You're, you grow up in your culture, you live in your culture, and you consider your culture normal. And then you visit another culture and it's different. So you tend to judge the other culture on your culture. <laughs> and usually you'll consider your culture better because at that point it's the only thing you know, right? So it's natural to be a little bit ethnocentric, but again, just try to judge other cultures on their own appeals, on their own, what they are, right? Not on your culture. Uh, as I said, ethnocentric behavior is generally considered to be negative, although it is n initially a natural thing to do. To avoid ethnocentric behavior, it's a good idea to forget your own culture while learning of a new one. Xenophobia is a fear of strange or foreign things. Often xenophobic people can let their fears make them hate other cultures and it can lead to violence. Oh, look at the history of the world. <laughs> a lot of wars were started over xenophobia, right? Now, that's not all. I'm sure there were other things going on, but often xenophobia causes people to do bad things. A stereotype is a generalization about a group of people based on race, religion, nationality, culture, ethnicity, or other characteristics that make them part of that group. Stereotypes are often unfair, untrue, exaggerated, oversimplified, and offensive. A good way to avoid stereotypes is to treat every person as an individual, regardless of what you have heard about his or her group. Never say that all members of a group do anything, right? All Chinese people love rice. Is that true? The answer is no. <laughs> I know several Chinese people who don't like rice. Even using the word most might be offensive. Also avoid extremes like love and hate, right? A better way to say that is many Chinese people eat rice. That's true, right? You can't argue that one. Very different than all Chinese people love rice. So be careful with your wording. Judge everyone as individuals. Here are some common stereotypes that some Americans believe. All cops love donuts. All Asians are good at math. All Mexicans like spicy food. G gay men are just like girls and lesbians are just like boys. These are fundamentally untrue, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's some cops who don't love donuts. I know one or two Asian people who are not good at math. I have at least met one Mexican person who doesn't like spicy food. And generally, gay people don't like to be referred to as the opposite sex. Now, I used to teach in China for about 10 years, right? Oh, <laughs> so that's why I have the first question, what stereotypes exist in China? Instead, let, instead let's say, what stereotypes exist in your country? What stereotypes do you believe? And again, let's change this last one. What stereotypes do people in your country have about Americans? Okay, let's look at these. Are all Americans informal? Are all Americans direct? Are all Americans friendly? 
Are all Americans independent? If you answered yes to any of these, you're wrong. <laughs> these are stereotypes, and again, not all nations might have these particular stereotypes about Americans. These are generalizations. Many Americans might fit these stereotypes, but not all of them, right? They're stereotypes. That's why it's good to not stereotype. Let's look at informal. Many Americans can be informal compared to other cultures. However, in business settings, school settings, courtrooms, well, some school settings, let's say, courtrooms, Americans can be quite formal. Americans can be direct. Compared to some cultures like Japan, Americans can be direct. Compared to cultures like Germany's, excuse me, like Germany, Americans can be more subtle. And again, look at that. I just stereotype Japan and Germany. Not all Japanese will be uh, indirect or subtle, and not all Germans will be very direct. But these are stereotypes about the U.S. and a little bit about Germany and Japan. Americans can be friendly, especially to strangers, compared to other cultures. Not all Americans can be friendly or will be friendly, right? Often in New York, <laughs> there's a stereotype that everyone's very unfriendly, and that's just another stereotype. So we got a stereotype in general about Americans being friendly and a stereotype of New York people not being friendly. Compared to other cultures, Americans can be independent, and it is considered to be a good quality in the U.S., right, being independent. Still, many Americans are dependent on either their families or social welfare. Okay, we're looking at more stereotypes. All Americans love McDonald's. That's not true for two reasons. Many Americans won't eat fast food because it's really, you know, unhealthy. And of those that do eat fast food, most people think McDonald's is inferior to other fast food chains, <laughs> myself included. Another one, all Americans love guns. That's not true. Many Americans are opposed to guns and are trying to change the laws. I'm not trying to tell you what's right or what's wrong. This is not a political channel. This is a hot button issue in the US. But less than half of Americans own a gun. I don't know the exact percentage. I think it is just <laughs> a little bit less, like 47, 48%. But less than half Americans own a gun. A lot of Americans don't like guns. I'm not going to get into the issue of whether guns are good or bad. All Americans are Christian or believe in God. As a generalization, this is true, except you can't say all. 90% <laughs> of Americans believe in God, and about 80% of Americans are Christian. So, yeah, the U.S. is one of the top Christian nations in the world. Uh, a lot of European nations used to be, but they've changed. They've gotten different over the years. The U.S. is still predominantly Christian, and 90% of Americans believe in God. So that other 10% would probably be other religions. Americans are hardworking. This is a stereotype in some cultures, but not all cultures, because some believe the opposite. Many Americans are hardworking, and many Americans are not hardworking. Americans are lazy. <laughs> right? Some cultures believe the opposite, right? Uh, some cultures in general work harder than Americans in general. Some cultures do not work as hard as Americans. Uh, so these are stereotypes. And these two, hardworking or lazy, depends on which country you're from, right? Americans are arrogant. Many Americans are arrogant <laughs> and have a sense of superiority. But you can find that in a lot of nations, right? A lot of people think their country is the best. Uh, many Americans are more worldly and do not exactly, you know, they aren't exactly arrogant. And, you know, you can believe your country is, is great. You just don't have to run out and tell everyone how great your country is. Americans are materialistic. Uh, some Americans are materialistic. Uh, however, most are not, and I have seen more materialism in China than I have in the U.S. That's true, and I'm not saying Chinese people are materialistic, 
but some are. I've seen a lot of people who are. And it could be the people I hang out with. So I wouldn't say Americans are materialistic or Chinese people are materialistic. Some people in both countries are. Okay, what did you learn about U.S. culture today? Did you learn anything else that wasn't necessarily about U.S. culture? Do you have any questions? If you do, please put them in the comments. And by the way, when I say today, I mean in these last three U.S. culture videos. I separated this into three different videos, I don't know, to make it easier for you to digest, right? A lot of people don't like the longer videos. When I teach this as a class in front of students, this is an hour long. Uh, because you're not answering questions and <laughs> we're not having an interactive conversation, they tend to be shorter than an hour, but still, this could be up to 40 minutes long. So if you have any questions, put them below. Otherwise, thank you. And I will see you next time. I might have more culture stuff if you guys are interested in this. I mean, I do have it. I might put it on here if you guys are interested. Let me know. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.